Hey guys, Jeremy here from School of Walk Covent Garden. This week we're doing bao once again, but we're swapping out the classic ingredients with our brand new School of Walk bao bun kits. I'm super excited about this. You can do bao's at home in just 30 minutes. Let's get going. First things first, your bao flour mix. Set aside just a tablespoon or so of your flour mix and then we're going to get kneading. Gradually add your water. It's about 110 mils of warm water to the flour. Once you've got all your water into the flour mix, make sure you use your palm of your hand and start kneading and pushing that flour into the mix. Bring the flour together, get as much of that water into the dough as possible. Give it a really good push through, but remember one hand clean, one hand dirty. You want to go for a nice, elastic, smooth finish on the dough. Once you've got a nice elastic finish, just shape it into a nice smooth bore, set aside and cover it with cling film. The great thing about this bao flour mix is instead of a one and a half hour rising time, this flour mix rises in just 10 minutes. So we're on to your next sachet, your pickling salts. Salt, sugar, crystallised vinegar. So you don't need a whole bottle of vinegar. Because of this, all you need to do is add a little bit of water. Let's finely chop some cucumber or some carrot and add your pickling salts. Add 40 mils of cold water. Give it a good mix through. Melt that crystallised vinegar through. Just set that aside and onto your meat. So I've got a great piece of beef here. I've got a nice ribeye steak. Just slice through nice thin slices of steak. And then we're onto our third sachet, your dry rub. Salt, black pepper and five spice. Massage all those sweet aromas into the meat. And then onto your glaze. The glaze is your last sachet. All you have to do is mix it with 140 ml of cold water and give it a good stir. Now all the fillings are done, ready to go. All we have to do is shape your bao and steam. Roll your bao dough into a nice sort of salami shape. Once you've got your salami, cut it in half and then cut each half into either two or three pieces. I'm going for six pieces altogether, so I'm going three and three. I've got my six pieces of dough. Now time to make them into a nice round ball. There's two ways of doing this. Either just shape it in your hands into a nice round ball, or what we like to call pinchy, pinchy, twisty, twisty. Push in, twist and pinch. Push in, twist and pinch. We've got nice six nice round balls of dough here, ready to roll. At this point, you can use your dusting flour. Just dust the surface with the flour and roll your pastries out into nice oval shapes. Once you've got an oval shape of dough, then you're going to brush a little bit of oil over the top and fold each piece of dough over itself. You find these lovely little lip-shaped doughs, that's what I like to call the Angelina Jolie of Bao. Now from here on, it's really simple. Your steam baskets have been lined with our School Walk bow blankets or silicon steam mats. Place your bows on top of your steam mats, straight over with a lid, onto the wok, vigorous boil, eight minutes. Last off, a little bit of oil in your wok, sear your meat, push down, seal one side, fold over, Sear the other side. You can smell that black pepper. Lastly, pour your glaze over the top of the meat. And make sure it bubbles through, switch your wok off. Moment of truth, time to compile your bow. So your bows are steaming hot, you can see that. Just grab them out of the basket, open up. A little bit of meat in each bow. Don't forget your pickled veg, and then tuck in. Mmm. Got that fluffiness from the bow, real kick from that black pepper. All done in 30 minutes, really simple. 
We're super excited, hope you are too. If you like this type of recipe and you want to know more, subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn more food just like this, subscribe to our channel and keep the suggestions coming.